I think a conversation about mobile starts with the customer. Uh, and what's happened over the course of the last three years has been an absolute revolution in the usage of a mobile device. The devices are always with us, and all the usage patterns show that this is a part of our everyday life. Well, we're talking to customers about how to think about how their customer engages with them, whether that's how do they acquire a new customer or how do they take care of the customers they have. They have to be infusing mobile throughout that marketing conversation. You know, it's funny, it starts with the basics because mobile means so many different things, right? It means tablets, it means location, it means all this. But the first thing you have to do is be there when they come looking for you. You have to have the most basic asset, which is a mobile website that thinks about how someone on a relatively small screen that's a touch screen with a device that knows where it is is going to want to engage your brand or your service. So it's funny to say it, but the first thing you have to have is a mobile website. And that then can build into a lot of different things. Um, but it's a very basic starting point, and a lot of people overlook it. And from there, we can grow people's efforts and work with them to help them understand how a tablet might bring them into a new segment, or about how the mobile device may enable them to extend their relationship with their customer into a different time of day. You know, there's lots of good examples about people who are taking advantage of mobile and presenting opportunities that embrace these devices. I'd point to Priceline. Um, Priceline has a relationship with people who want to make hotel reservations. Uh, and what they found is mobile allowed them to extend that relationship and to capture an entirely new use case, which is the traveler who realizes they need a hotel that night, or who's stuck for another day, or who finds himself uh, overlaid, uh, as we all have been, um, when a flight is missed, or all of that, who needs a hotel instantly. They were finding an enormous amount of the traffic to their mobile website was making same-day reservations, and often within 15 or 20 miles. And so it's added an entire dimension and a whole new revenue stream um, with how they think about their business. I think the desktop and a tablet and a mobile are complementary. I think what you're going to have is you're going to start to have the blurring of the lines. Because my, my, I don't have a desktop phone, I have a laptop. And I take that with me and it's got connectivity in a lot of places. I think what we're finding is you have a context where you are mobile that may not be specific to your phone or your tablet or your desktop. Um, but we're finding that people are using these devices in entirely new contexts at different times of day and on the weekends. And so think about the use case of using a device on public transportation or when you're walking around your neighborhood or when you're sitting at home on the couch. These are entirely different use cases brought about by the connectivity and the portability of these devices. So bringing it back to your question, inevitably some people are going to just replicate their experience from a desktop environment. But I believe, fairly passionately, that that is underutilizing the capabilities and the rich data around mobile to deliver a mobile-specific experience that takes advantage of position and rich new contexts. I think any equation about um, building products for new environments that are as disruptive as the mobile phone has to be a dialogue with the customer. You're going to be in a rapid iteration cycle where you're putting things out there. This is true of Google, this is true of anybody building a product, or this is true of a brand that's trying to engage their customer. You have to put something out there and then you have to watch the way the users engage with that offering. And that means analyze the data, watch how that's different among different segments, and then evolve your offering and test hypotheses. I think we don't know enough yet about mobile to know here's the exact template and, and, and map to how to engage a user on a mobile phone. I think what we do know is that users are engaging with these in entirely new ways. And so what we're recommending to people is get something out there that you think might be something they'd engage with and then watch the way the user engages. Right? And from my perspective, the user teaches us. The user is teaching us what they want by electing how they engage with what we offer them in mobile. So it's a dialogue, and I don't think it's pushed to the consumer, and I certainly don't think the consumer is able to write us an essay about what they want. And so you have to be constantly engaging that customer and watching as the data comes back. Thank you.